Welcome to Brainstorm Sessions Part Four. Wow, this has been uh, this has been awesome. Now I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time we're going to move to a bi-weekly version of this. Um, obviously, all of us end up with family stuff and being busy, and I want to make sure we give you the best content, tips, and advice that we can. So uh, well, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So uh, hi, Mike. Hi, Brian. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Uh, do you to go stay ahead warm. Get us kicked off here, Brian. Oh yeah, that weather across the country is crazy. Well, except for here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we hate you. <laughs> All right, Brian. Let me go ahead and uh, pop you up here. You can run with it. Good deal. Hey guys. Uh, so this week, let's start out with my numbers, right? And again, I'm a rather small channel. Now, you look at um, my watched hours right now, and I'm halfway to my 4,000, right? My goal, I got to hit my 1,000 subs, 4,000 watched hours. I have really good watch hours at the moment. However, uh, last week, I think we were at uh, 240 subscribers for my channel. Today, 10 minutes before I got on here, I hit 260. So I'm up 20 subs since last week. Now, what I will say is, uh, Instagram still has me shadow banned. I have no idea. I'm liking posts, I'm commenting, and I'll add one person or two people, and then 20 minutes later, Instagram just winds that back out. So I have a, a bad feeling I'm gonna have to kill that and start all over. So I need to look for other ways, other opportunities to grow uh, my people, which I'm happy with 20 in a week. Um, need to stay on my videos. I dropped a video this week. Um, but I, I did want to share one item that I'm, well, a couple things I'm doing a little different. So we've been joining live chats uh, this week and I, I end up running into narcs or some other guys I know. Then we start coming back and forth on other people's live chats. I tip a little bit. Um, I did tip on a Finnegan live chat, uh, which I, I don't mind supporting, you, you know, anybody as we go through this. I did pick up one subscriber from the actual tip. I tip, the guy went to my channel, checked it out, said, hey, I, I found your channel through the tip. Now, I don't know if that works every time or if it's worth, you know, five or $10 for every subscriber, but it, it worked. Also, what we did is we went through the list of uh, people in chat, which there was just a ton, right? And I um, actually copied all those, dumped those into an Excel, sheet and i started checking out channels now you know there was a ton of like gamer channels or you know what whatever makeup channels whatever was on there um i just kind of weeded through found the car guys or found guys that are into trucks right because right now my channel is specifically c10 obs chevy as i'm doing those builds and i go back and forth to the muscle cars so um I'm looking specifically for guys who will watch my stuff and I'm watching live feeds that are uh, like Roadkill or watch JR Go, those types of guys who will have the same similar uh, subscriber. So doing that, um, but, but actually I think where my growth this week has came from has been that direct marketing to smaller um, channels like mine. And I found this uh, deal. Let's see here. It's called uh, Channel hey, Crawler. Hey, no, don't, don't, don't go into that yet. Nope. <laughs> let's, let's not give up the secrets just yet. Oh, oh, edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll leave it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Take two. No, uh, because, you know, we definitely, let's, let's like go around that because that is yeah. such an important topic that I feel like like let's let's hold that because that's going to be a big deal for a ton of channels that are watching this. Oh, yeah. I think so. I think like, so. I can't, so I can't wait to, yeah, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to turn loose on that. So, all right, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I think uh, I think we're um, you know overall high level saw growth. Been been working this new form format that I saw. Also working live chats. Um, Instagram's done nothing for me this week and um, I haven't shared my video yet from this past week on any Facebook uh, groups 
which I'll probably do tonight. And then I'll, uh, and I'm trying to wrap up editing on another video. Yep. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, who, I'm getting some bad feedback. Can yeah, you hear that? I can hear that. Is it these? Is it because it's rubbing against my beard? How about that? Is that better? That's fine now. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Okay. I don't hear anything. Is it for no, me? No, that's weird. Yeah. Maybe it is you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'm going to go ahead and pop through your numbers real quick. And we'll keep yep. rolling. Yep. So Instagram for me, a uh, pretty slow week. Um, I gained 56 followers on Instagram. But what I found was interesting is that I actually uh, gained 66 follows, but I actually lost 10 followers throughout the week. So I thought that was a really, uh, that was probably the biggest week I've had of people leaving the channel or leaving the uh, platform, leaving the Instagram feed, right? Whatever you call that thing, account, whatever. Uh, and I had 13 posts. So I, I don't know how to read into that, see what uh, dropped and everything like that. But my best day on Instagram was Sunday and I added 15 accounts. Um, YouTube, I gained 28 subscribers this week, but had a crazy day last Friday, which is so strange because I go live on Friday and dropped a video. Uh, I lost five subs on Friday on it, on YouTube. So what? It makes Wait. zero sense to me, but yesterday I gained a nine. So, hey, you know, I'll take it, whatever it is. Is it is it from the uh... – live videos how has that been working for you i i know that i pop into some of the chats and they're not like finnegan's that have 2500 people in their chat right. I'm, I'm just trying to think is it do, do i have enough and i may not have that far enough reach to go live yet with 260 subs right but the, the thing that's that i like about going live is like with doing the podcast i feel like um, I need that interaction in my life anyways. So, and if I'm going to do a podcast, which I'm not doing <laughs> very well at it, I might as well do the live feed on, uh, on YouTube because of, it seems like it's gaining some foothold and we're getting, you know, where we would have five or six people in now we've got like eight or 10 or 15 in at a time. Um, I'm getting new people commenting so more people are seeing it. So there's a lot of folks that go live, you know, all different times. Um, and I'll go live after that, generally if I'm working in the shop for a couple of hours and that's hit or miss, but the Friday at six live is, is getting better and better. So I think like with your channel, you may look and it may have six people on, but those say those same six and plus two more come in next week and then two, you know, and it just multiplies. Yeah, so, I know yeah. it's we're on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know it's we're on the uh, the one gauge uh, live. Mm -hmm. Was it a live feed or premiere? Yeah, the one it's gauge. I believe it is. Dude, that's that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat that guys putting those together. Um, mm -hmm. There were a lot of people in the premiere. That's why I was thinking it was a live. But uh, well, now and here's where that comes from is I I literally force fed that down people's throats because. Um, we're going to use that product. So I wanted one, I wanted to be able to answer, ask questions of our, you know, of mine, but then also I wanted to give as much um, promotion to that guy as I can. Right. So, I mean, I shared that to a ton of group pages on Facebook. I shared it on Instagram. I messaged people directly. Hey, we're going like, just like I did with you guys. I'm like, Hey, please ask this guy questions. So. Yeah, for sure. Now with, with lives that I noticed, um, yeah, you, you slowly gain people that come in. But if you look at your analytics, my lives are three times the amount of watch time of any video that I put out. It doesn't matter if it's a 10 minute video, a four minute video, or whatever it is, averages eight to 10 minutes of watch time. That's a bunch. Okay. I don't have a ton of people on yet, but it, it definitely helps you watch hours, which after you're monetized really is more important than subscriber count. Yep. Well, and another thing, like when I think of a live feed, I think, okay, like late's a great example of what could work well, because like you're in the shop. So if you set up the the camera at the right spot, dude, you could just do like I do and move around and be working on the truck, you know, for LST. 
and people that are going to go to LST or are thinking of it or are wishing they were going to go, you know, they'll see that. And so, like, if you're going to be out there during, you know, at night, like on a Friday night or something like that, especially the week before, I would think going live could not hurt at all. Because, dude, there's guys that go live and just leave it over there to the side and don't, I mean, they don't really conversate with folks. Huh. And they come and go. And, and yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I haven't done live yet, but um, I'm very close to first start and everything like that, which will probably yeah. be a few days before LST. And uh, we definitely want to do that. And, yeah. You know, let people see. Now, my question is when you go live and, and again, there's still I'm still working on everything on my channel and trying to grab subs. But when I go live, um, at the end of that, that stays recorded, right? Just as a video. Okay. Yep. So and if you do, you can like we're recording this now. You can download it afterwards. But with Streamyard, it'll go on Facebook and YouTube automatically. Mm -hmm. You don't have to download oh, okay. it. It automatically goes on. Now, a secret tip to that: when you make make sure you post your live stream earlier. Because it'll put a link on for YouTube and it'll put a link on for Facebook. Go into your YouTube one. You'll have to look for it. You'll find it. Go in there and change all your settings. Like us, we're monetized. So I have to go in and change, turn on monetization, put in all the tags for it. I put in all the description, everything before the live has even taken place. Okay. Yep. You do that ahead of time and hit save. That way you're getting monetized while people are watching it live. Otherwise, you don't get paid anything for the people watching live. And you only get to watch hours after it is posted. So just a tip on, on that okay. as well. Interesting. Yeah, and I did that actually this weekend. Uh, I'll throw my numbers up real quick. I got uh, 21 uh, YouTube and 25 on Instagram. I was able to go live at the Wild Horse Pass drag strip. Yep. And uh, I got a lot of uh, a lot of people on there. And I think some of them were the racers that, you know, I took video of their cars for them and they got to see their cars run down the track, which is a, no, is a big deal. But yeah, it was fun to get on there. And I was surprised. I didn't know I was going to go live until I was like, you know, I'm just going to see if it works. The, the signal yeah. wasn't all that good. So video was a little choppy here or there, but everybody was on there having fun, taking bets on which car was going to go. So you never know. I mean, you can throw a live out there and, and just see what happens. The, the biggest thing about YouTube is don't be afraid to turn on the camera. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's a great example. Document, don't create. So, Narks, are we ready to move over to the secret? <laughs> wait, wait, I, do, I, do have, I do have some questions uh, for me. Is I'm, you know, my whole buildup, and here's the thing, my channel, um, it, it's more of the car, car lifestyle, right? Like, like Narks, there's so much that we do um, outside of just time in the shop, but you know, it's winter and I've been thrashing on this truck for Lone Star Throwdown. So building up to that. My question is um, for you guys, because I've only dropped one short. I, I think it's done well for me. I've picked up some subs off of that. Narch usually loses subs on that. <laughs> yep. I, I plan on doing, um, I plan on dropping videos while at LST, but also plan on uh, doing some shorts, right, of different trucks and stuff, because I figure I can get a good walk around and drop it. So the guys who are stuck at work on Friday, they get to uh, they get to see it. I know I was in that position years prior to going, and I'm just wanting to see trucks through the day. So I'm constantly scrolling Facebook, where are the trucks? So I like yep. to do a bunch of shorts. Now, with that, I know that you drop a short, then you got to go back in and add all your tags and stuff, what specifically should I be doing in my titles uh, for shorts while at the show? Yeah, I mean, uh, man, this feedback is great. I'm gonna have to get a regular mic next week, I think. So if that works. here's what I would do. I would take, um, it, what we talked about last week was going into your settings and changing stuff. I would set up, the tags and uh, the title that you would want. So like it would say Lone Star Throwdown 2021, you know, hashtag LST 2021, hashtag Lone Star Throwdown, right? And then before, and then down below, 
put all of your your description. Hey, I'm at Lone Star Throwdown this week. This is, you know, I, I'm going to be posting a video every night. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. All the kind of stuff that you're going to do. And then uh, I think in the settings, uh, Eric, is this right? You can put, you can set tags up, right? Uh, preset tags, no. Okay. So, so you, that'll be harder to do, but you'll have all of your, you'll have your good title. You'll have your good description already loading into each short that goes. Um, but then the first letter, you know, the first words would be like 1978 bagged C10, you know, and then it would be Lone Star Throwdown 2021 and then all of your other regular title stuff. And I do that with everything. That way, that way, every time somebody searches for Lone Star Throwdown 2021, it's freaking Brian late Black Seed original showing up. Yeah, and that's what we talked about in the last thing is future tags, right? I, I've been tagging the heck out of for a couple months. And if you search certain things, it, it bag C10, air ride C10, I'm, I'm usually coming up. But uh, yeah, now my focus is LST. I, I really need to get enough followers to get me above 500 from this show. Um, so yeah, I'm on a future tag and and blow it up. I may lose everybody. They may go, this dude, all he's doing is TikTok dances in front of all these trucks, but whatever gets the views, subs. <laughs> yeah, that's where I would start for sure. And then here's the thing. If you put out 50 shorts in the matter of two days, like think of the SEO reach of that because you're weeks ahead of Grinder TV. Now, are their videos going to be better than yours? Probably. Are they going to yeah. perform better? Yep. But I mean, you're out ahead of it and the dude sitting at the office can can watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Grinder TV, they also have an app, I think, Grinder. I've been on it, but uh, yeah. mostly. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard different. Well, man, <laughs> love. Might be the wrong one there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so can we let that cat out of the bag? It's sitting over here meowing at me. I'm right. good. I'm good up till this point. <laughs> I will go ahead and pull it up and let Brian take over. I'll pop this all the way up. Okay, what is this and, and how do we use it? This is great. So here, here's, um, let me tell you what I was looking for. One of the questions that has been bothering me is in, in our day-to-day -day jobs, whether it's Narcs or myself, we're looking at analytics, we're looking at data, and usually decisions are based on, are data driven, right? So my thing is, I'm going, how do you, how do you find your audience? There's, there's got to be a way, someone has to have data, 30 million channels out there, how do I find the people that want to watch my stuff, right? Um, so I stumbled across this. Now, what I will say, going through a site, and, and, you know, based on the numbers I came up with last week, 30 million channels on YouTube, this captures a million of them. And, and also, if your channel's not in here, there's a button to add the channel. But I found this, it's called a channel crawler. Um, and, I, and I'm still looking for other, you know, other types of data because it, at the end of the day, if you could give me, you know, uh, 500,000 people who are interested in C10 trucks or air ride vehicles, that's that's my audience and that's who I'm going to network with. That's the people I'm reaching out to their channels. So I found this. Um, now, what I'll say is this search is a, a million channels to kind of bring you a return from that data. It has filters. You can filter it out. Uh, this looks like the auto. It pulls up 131 channels. Depending on your keywords that you put in, it may pull up a different group of channels. It may pull up, you know, 500 or something like that. But um, this and uh, this specifically pulls up channels. And also, if you look example video, it pulls a piece of the title from their last video. See it in red underneath there. So it helps you quickly scan these and you can tell, okay, there's RC guys, there's guys riding, uh, there's NASCAR, there's motorcycles, and then boom, you may hit something 
air air ride BMW or air ride C10, and and that's what I would jump into. Takes you right to their channel, allows you to check out their vehicles if you want to subscribe. Now here's the extra step that I'm taking, right? Uh, and and I'm not doing this to anybody. I'm I'm looking for channels that I think will subscribe to my channel. Um, that's who I want to talk to because I end up talking to people. Um, Mike asked a question, does it link you to the channel directly? Yes, we just did that. Uh, but anyway, I'll hit subscribe. I'll go check out a video that, that I like. I'll comment on it. And now here's what I'll also say. I've noticed that if I put in a comment, hey, I just subbed to your channel, um, really like your C10. I'm doing something similar on mine. Check it out. It may be of interest. Uh, YouTube won't let me post that comment because it said sub, subscription, anything like that, because they're trying to kill the sub for sub. Me, I'm trying to uh, yep. direct market to my audience and someone who I'm going to watch as well. Um, so the other thing you can do on that to get around it is say, I left a gift on your porch. Okay. okay. <laughs> People will understand what you're saying. Hey, I left a, a gift on your porch. <laughs> I've... I've been saying, uh, I've been using the wording, hey, I just started following you. Um, I'm doing something similar. Uh, you know, go check out my channel. I've been talking to a guy about the past hour that just subscribed to me about his uh, uh, Turbo LS that he just threw in a 69 C10 long bed. Things sound pretty gnarly. But again, whatever you're into, this is one step closer to finding your target audience and, and stuff on the smaller scale, right? It, now, if you go back to the search, um, does it let you kick back? It lets you choose the the size of the channel that you're targeting. Do you see that? Yeah. I'm limited to 1,500. Right. So, it, yeah, and that's why you only pulled out like 150 channels, right? Um, but, yeah, and then a keyword – if you were to put in air ride, two different words, um, you may actually pull me up. I was number two when I looked last time. But it, it helps you. And also, you know, who's uploaded a video within the last six days or something like that. Look, I'm not even on there now. Could be something in the filters, but whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. And then you can, there's a different sort on there. Um and, and I also found I get more results if I don't get too specific on stuff. I do auto, I throw in a keyword, and I let it roll. Nice. Yeah, I think that's great advice, especially for uh, small YouTubers, because not only will you subscribe and support them, if they go live or do anything, you get to interact with them and their followers as well, who obviously are interested in the same thing you're doing, so you can actually share followers between without saying a word. It's just simple interest. So I think this is a really great tool, man. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. That's that's going to be really super cool to see yeah, where that. The, one of the biggest benefits I think is like you know basically now you're taking the, I mean you're taking the formula that we know works, and you're gonna like now we can hammer down on yeah. any channel. You know, like I mean you could instead of spending four hours a day on the Instagram stuff and hoping you get 20%, you know, this is probably more like a 60% uh, yeah. follow back rate. Right. Cause you're engaging YouTubers. Yeah. Not, mm -hmm. We're, we're not uh, Instagram. You're assuming those guys watch YouTube. You're assuming they're going to click it and go and subscribe. We're watching guys who build the channel and that mm -hmm. filter system lets you bring it down to, guys who are actually active guys with just like us channels, you know, to, uh, uh, one subscriber to 3000 or whatever. Right. Cause there's some limit grinder TV doesn't know who I am and they're not going to hit me and they're everywhere in the world. Right. Uh, who knows who you are. Um, he we'll hates into that. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, yeah, so, just guys with like interests that are active, just like me. That's at, at this time, and those are my uh, those are my people. They'll still be my people later on, right? Whether we grow or not, but uh, just yep. it's all the same interest. Just want to keep it going, growing. 
Yeah, and I'm, did you have more you wanted to add on that, or did you want to add something outside of YouTube Crawler? I know we didn't really go over a whole big format. This is kind of like a live, but we record it for you guys. Yeah. So um, on on that, uh, it's going to be interesting because I'm I'm really going to take the time to uh, structure and follow my numbers of doing the channel crawler side of things because if if channels that have 50 subscribers or 500 subscribers can use that it just that can change the entire game so that's a huge find uh for all of us it, and there has to be i i can't i can't believe that that's the only one uh and i'm not sure where it's scraping that data from right maybe Maybe it's a bot scraping sites and puts it into a, uh, you know, a table that this is pulling from. To to me, there's got to be. I, I'm still looking. Maybe I can come back with a with a better one. As of right now, this is working. It, if somebody knows of a better one that that's really spot on to keywords and stuff, drop it in the comments for us and let's uh, let's check it out. Yeah, I, I mean. Th- for everybody that's that's watching like the whole purpose of this is uh if we could do four screens here so we could have four people in here we definitely do it uh we're open to hearing anything and everything from everybody so yes any creators who want to be part of this please let us know and uh we'll be more than happy to help you on uh be sure you're ready to bring something to the table um instead of just well (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we, we we want people that are going to help us change. We want to help people that are going to help us grow. Yep. Some some folks that, you know, I mean, obviously, we appreciate everybody that uses our stuff, that uses the stuff we put out. But, like, what's something that you've changed that you've used that makes the world a difference? Yeah. Yeah, that we that we haven't seen yet. And uh, one, I'm going to throw something on there real quick. This one's really simple and easy. Uh, you were talking about doing all of your tags and your data for your older videos uh, from last week and how you're still uh, kind of forking your way through that. I have something um, I, I know that you're already aware of, but I want to pull up for other people because I've gone back and looked at my videos and found this to be an issue. So let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. Right here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that in the middle, but category. When you were doing your video details, you're scrolling down and you're putting your tags in, you need to go down to where it says category. It says auto and vehicles. I've had it where it said how to, I've had it where it said entertainment. It automatically changed itself. It should default to auto if you're always doing automotive videos, but check this before you go clicking past it because next thing you know, you know you're in the knitting section of YouTube and no one's going to see your content. It's not going to go anywhere. So anyway, I wanted to show that that's in the YouTube studio under uh, video details. So anyway, that's my little two cents for nugget of uh, information here. Yep. All right. Are you ready for me to bring you guys into this hell with me? Let's do this. Okay. So uh, if you watched a couple weeks ago, I talked about tags, uh, title, description, thumbnail, all that kind of stuff. I was going back through the Project LC playlist, the LS swap. Uh, Land Cruiser. So I've finally made it through all 40 something. I think it was 42 videos on there. I changed the tags, the title, the description and thumbnail for all of those. Right. It has literally taken me like eight days to do that. So the problem is now I am going back through and like I'll see another video is doing well or I'll click it like uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week was one I started with today. Uh, because I was on the Rocky Mountain Race Weekers page. And I was like, oh, I'll look at that playlist. All those videos suck. So I'm like, God. So now I'm like, now I am forcing myself to go back through like the Narc's Cart playlist and work my way down through those. Uh, one thing that I did find was interesting and frustrating is I had a, once I started mass changing all of the Land Cruiser videos, which that playlist performs the best for me. Uh, once I started changing all those, I saw a drop in view in daily video views. So I went from about 540 to 580 daily video views down to at my lowest day was 380, right? But then three days ago, things started creeping back up. Um, so it's very strange. So I think those videos are beginning to 
um, show to more people and things like that. I haven't dug deep enough to see if it's those videos or not, but none of the shorts I have are taken off like they normally would. So it's definitely not those videos uh, in the shorts. So I'm through all the updates. The Narscar playlist has uh, 50 videos in it. So it's gonna take me some time. Now those videos and thumbnails and descriptions and things are better because I was further along in our process and understood it more, but there's still so many things. Like I can open one and it'll have a decent description, but you know, in my learning over the last week and a half, two weeks, um, if you can start your description with almost verbatim how you start your video, uh, the YouTube algorithm is supposed to be a better uh, result. So obviously now that we're, you know, almost a year later, I'm changing these. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But so I've been going through, so I have to, again, rewatch the video. I have to retype the description. I have to go down to the tags, make sure that all the stuff in the title is in the tags. It, it's just do it right. Do it right the first time. Take your time. Like Eric said earlier, take the time. Don't publish it until you're, till you have maxed your tags, till you have read the description five times to make sure it sounds right and follows along with the video. Don't just put it out there because that's what I was doing. I was like, I'm going to kill people with volume. Right. Volume, volume. Well, if I had been doing this and killing people with volume, I would, I mean, I'd have 10,000 subscribers, no doubt. So yep. That's my, that's my thing. <laughs> Awesome. Well, we've hit the 30 minute mark. I want to go ahead and, and let you guys have a chance here to have any last tips or comments you want to give to everybody before we wrap this up. So let me go ahead, Brian, let me start with you. Any last last tips or things, something maybe we're going to work on this week that we can look at next week from an analytics standpoint, and then we'll move over to Mike. You're on mute, buddy. Yep, I do that all the time. Uh, I'm going to focus on networking and grinding through the uh what was it called again channel surfer <laughs> youtube uh, crawl yeah i've already forgot the name of it uh yeah i'm channel crawler so i'm going to focus on that uh i'm going to hit that hard this week um i've already been hitting it hard today and then hopefully i'm going to go live with uh my truck should be running this week by the end of this week. And I'm going to do a live session on that. So yeah, that's the, uh, and then the next following week, we should be going to Houston. Hopefully all this snows off the ground. That's why I'm not in the shop today. Um, well, I'm going to be, but it's about 20 in there now. So uh, it hit the uh, channel crawler hard and prepare for a live on startup. And then going into LST, I'm um, putting a plan together to hit a bunch of shorts for those guys who are setting at the uh, setting at the office. So, yeah. Hey, here's one thing I want to say too. Um, if you're gonna do so many shorts for LST, dude, you should really think about a TikTok account. They they have a TikTok has a creator account where you can make money on it and do, I mean, we're at like 16,000 followers on there with one video that went wild. So you can have one video go wild while you're down there. And if you're going to, the thing about shorts is like, they're the same format. So it's the same video okay. so recording the video in vertical format anyways. So like as you're panning, then you just get done and you load it to YouTube and you load it to, uh, to TikTok. I mean, you can load okay. it to Instagram too, but I, I'm, you know, now, now we're like, now you're getting further and further. It's more and more and more work. It's going to be hard to get through 3,000 trucks with that kind of work. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with uh, TikTok and I'll stick with uh, YouTube. And then um, goal is 100 shorts while I'm there. So um, I may upset a lot of people and lose all my people, but we'll, we'll wait and see. I mean, you, you may end up like with negative on a few of them, but I bet you'll gain a whole bunch of folks from it, from that. That's so, going to make yeah. you explode, brother. It'll be interesting to see after that's done, looking back from here and seeing how much you've grown. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and like I said, I'm, I'm starting, I'm reworking some of my titles now so that if people go in and hit LSD, 
uh, Lone Star Throwdown, something like that, that's pulling up my truck build as well. That's awesome. Yeah, the, uh, the last little bit, um, I'm going to really work this channel crawler thing um, as much, if not more, than I was working the Instagram deal. I, I'm interested to see how much we can grow. I mean, I haven't had, I've had a hundred and 29 subscriber day it should be cool to see if we could get to like 250 or 300 in a i mean probably not in a day but in a few days if you can and you gotta think if you can add two or three hundred i mean realistically that's probably what 20 or 30 real followers and then you'll end up with five or six people that are going to comment on every video and things like that so um one th hey one thing i did find out uh pinned comments uh when you load a video and I've seen a couple big channels do it, but when you load a video, immediately go in and comment on the video with something that's relative to it and pin that comment. It just, I'm telling it like it uploads, go in and do it. Um, a post I was reading yesterday on one of the YouTuber pages was talking about how the more traffic you can get to it, the more you know interactions to a video, things like that, the better it'll take off. Well, I think that's probably part of our trouble in the beginning was we didn't have anybody really following us. So I would load a video and then it would sit stagnant for two or three days while people watched it organically, you know, so just hammer people. Yep, for sure. That's uh, great advice as well. Well, we're at uh, 36 minutes after here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. I appreciate everybody who, uh, you know, watches this stuff. Hopefully we help you out. If you do leave us a comment down below, we want to make sure we're not just talking to ourselves over here. And uh, if anything, we're all learning how to grow. And and the more that we find the, you know, like this U uh, YouTube channel crawler, stuff like that, we're going to share it with you. We're all going to see if we can grow from it and uh, definitely go into other people's lives and commenting and talking to others that can help you grow. I've grown a lot by doing that. I'm everywhere on lives when I have time in the evening, as you guys know. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate you guys so much, man. Hope you have a great one. Stay warm, stay out of that snow, and we will go ahead and rock and roll on number five in two weeks. All righty? Thank so you. Guys. <sighs>